All right, so we are here at Depot Park in Gainesville after a wonderful eight-day stay at the uh, the Helk VA uh, uh, Hospital there. Oh boy, you don't want to go there. <laughs> uh, anyway, they ah, they were all right. The rooms were nice. I will give them that. Uh, so anyway, I thought on my way out of Gainesville, we'd hit a couple parks and uh, and just talk about them. The reason why I wanted to do this park was uh, just down the road. So this is northern central Florida, if you, in case you, you're wondering. And uh, you've got a huge, huge medical center called UF uh, Health uh, right down the road there. And uh, they do um, cardiovascular, cancer, and neurology. So uh, I imagine, you know, at some point, most everybody in north, north central Florida is going to end up there sooner or later. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast and how things go with our health. Um, but uh, what I would do, there's actually a bike path that comes right in uh, front of the VA on the north side. Uh, and the same thing, well, it actually goes between, there's a child center across the uh, street. I can't remember the name of the road. That's the main road that comes into UF Health. And then, of course, the big buildings on the, on the left and the bike path goes right by there also. Um, I want to say it's about a two mile hike. I would sneak off the premise because I was going crazy. I was going stir crazy. And as my health improved, I could hike further and further. So I actually hiked up here and that's how I found this park. And, uh, you know, it's got a nice little museum here. I'm not sure we'll, we'll hit it uh, today. But anyway, the bike path, I found out there's an offshoot that goes, um, well here, let's just turn, turn this. Okay, it kind of goes this way. Okay, uh, hopefully I got that on the video. And uh, it goes for 16 miles. So in theory, if you did have to check yourself into the hospital, or if a visitor wants to come visit you, they can make a day out of it. You know, there's nothing like, you know, okay, you know, you come, you wait and you, you tap your fingers and then they go in for surgery. Well, if you got your bike on the back of the car, why not go out there and hop on your bike and uh, go for a 16 mile ride? You know, uh, it goes down to what's called Hawthorne Street or so I have been told. Now I have not ridden it, so that's not first hand knowledge right there. We talked about first hand knowledge in, in other videos, uh, but that's what I was told. And I have no idea uh, where this bike path is. We'll show you up here. I'm gonna walk up there and we'll get a video of that because I'm gonna we'll walk down it just a little ways just to kind of show you but that's the bike path that goes right by UF Health and right by the VA um, so it's uh you know this this looks like a nice little park and uh, I, I will go in and at least find out what the museum is all about maybe I'll get a brochure and just read it to you in case you're interested in just coming up here for a day at the museum you know a lot of people aren't into hiking or biking and that's fine but at least you guys called the CADE, C-A-D-E Museum. Uh, so I imagine if you look that up in your phone, you could find it or just look for Depot Park. Probably you could look it up that way. Uh, so we're gonna get started and uh, we're gonna hike around and uh, yeah, we'll just spend a little quick video here. I don't think there's a whole lot to it, um, but uh, let's get going. So let's start with getting these on the video. Now listening to the radio uh, here in Gainesville, you get the local radio. These are <laughs> these, these have turned out to be quite the nuisance. I guess that people are driving them out into traffic and all kinds of crazy stuff. But they're really meant for the bike path. And uh, there's actually uh, the University of Florida is also right down here by the uh, the hospitals. And uh, so you could you know I imagine uh, there's a lot of apartment complexes around here, and so I you know the students can grab these and just ride down the bike path and go to school. They are cool. I mean, they look like they'd be fun to ride. I'm not sure how it works. I imagine you have to buy some sort of uh, smartphone app and, and scan that code right there. But I did want to show you that. Uh, this is the museum. So you can kind of see, it says Cade Museum right over here. Let's go in there right now and see if we can find out uh, what the museum's all about. And uh, I'll get a brochure and I'll just read you a few lines from it. So see if it's something you might be interested in all right well so much for that thought <laughs> the Cade Museum is now open for general admission on Friday Saturday and Sunday from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. 
Okay, and of course you can take field trips if you're interested. Oh, that's some slim hours for a museum. I, I can't imagine there's much in there to see. <laughs> that tells me that must be a slim staff. All right, so uh, so much for that idea. Let's uh, let's go get up to the bike path and we'll get a video there. All right, we're heading west on the bike path. Woo! All right, here goes one of the ambulances. So you know that we're near the hospitals. And uh, you can see it just kind of goes by the road here. And uh, by the way, let me get a pet pee out on this video. I tell you what, let's just, uh, well, I'll keep it going. You can probably hear me, just to let you know you're near the, the hospital. Uh, back there at the intersection, you know, we're in a liberal Democrat town. And uh, every time I come up to an intersection, you know, I stand well back. You know, the car is bigger than me. And I never know who's driving that car. And just a piece of advice, when a, when a pedestrian stops and waves you on, don't sit there and wave them on, and then you wave them on. The car is bigger than me. I want the car to go, okay? I don't want to take the risk that some idiot is going to hit the accelerator by accident or just be out of malice and run me over. Okay, you liberal damn Democrats, go ahead and when, when somebody stops and is waving you on to get across the doggone intersection, drive your car across the intersection. The reason they're doing that is for their own safety. You know, you're in the car. They're walking. Who's going to die? They're not. You know, they're going to run right over you. But, but anyway, I just kind of wanted to just briefly show you the bike path. It just goes on down here. It actually cuts back into like uh, behind some apartments and turns into a real pretty area. And then there's a bridge that goes right over 441, which is really cool. Uh, very nice hike if you're staying at uh, one of the hospitals and you can sneak off you know they never question what you can do or what i did at the va is you can walk around the hospital outside you're just not supposed to leave the premises but they've left gates open around there and there's no surveillance or anything and i don't think they're going to bust you anyway they're not going to care i mean you don't want to go out the main entrance and they do shut the other entrances you know so you can't get out those but those little doors that are open that's how i would sneak out and go for a nice long hike uh, so uh, anyway, this, uh, this just wanted to show you the bike path real quick, heading west back towards the hospitals. And uh, so now we'll get back into the park. So I thought this was pretty cool. You got some scooters, more scooters back here. And you're coming up, I don't know if these used to be railroad tracks maybe, and that's why they used that bike trail. And you're coming up to this building here. I don't know if this is a bar maybe. Who knows, uh, but we'll get a video when we get up there. I'm just taking short clips. I don't know what these elect. I guess these electrical outlets is so that you can plug in something. Uh, I don't know why you would have all these electrical outlets. So uh, let's just and see now. Now you know why. If let's just swing around. Okay. You see that umbrella right there? The reason that I got that strapped to my back, and you need to buy one too. Go to Amazon. Uh, it's a mint-sized umbrella. You don't want to get the big golf umbrella and. Uh, and it's just perfect because now it's starting to rain and I'm going to throw that up. So hey, yeah, check it out. This is uh, the Boxcar Beer and Wine Garden. No outside food or beverage. So uh, this would be a neat place to come and just have a, have a beer. Unfortunately, I can't have one for a whole month. That's going to be rough because <laughs> I love my beer. If you haven't seen my videos, you know that I love beer. But uh, anyway, I, I'll, I'll keep that promise. All uh, right, okay. So uh, here, here's some more scooters. I guess the hooks are for like locking your bike into. I like the other bike racks. But anyway, I'm gonna throw up the umbrella here and uh, you can see what I'm seeing. I don't know if this is part of the bike trail coming along here. I'm gonna go far enough up this way to see if the trail continues in that direction or not. Yeah, I'm making this from underneath the umbrella. I'm not sure what to make of this map because I'm, I wish they had uh, brought it out just a little bit bigger because if I could orient myself according to the hospitals, I would know. It says, it says Depot Rail Trail. I don't know that, that's probably, oh, here it is. You have Sands Hospital. All right, we're good. So this is, this is where, where you, where, where we were. This, the VA hospital is just right here. Okay, so you come up this trail all the way to, here's Depot Park right here. And then it looks like it continues on and becomes Waldo 
Road Greenway. And then this is the downtown connector. It's called the Gaines. Yep, see, I was right. Gainesville Hawthorne State Trail. So you can see you can bring a bike. Here's the 6th Street Rail Trail. Uh, boy, I tell you, you could really get some nice bike in here in downtown. Uh, um, boy, I'm glad I got oriented on that. I, I, I was looking at it going, where exactly? But boy, when you saw the UF Health Shands, S-H-A-N-D Hospital, and then I knew exactly. And here's that Helix Bridge. Uh, they call it H-E-L-Y-X Bridge. I told you that's a really cool bridge over 441. So, uh, okay, so you kind of got the uh, thing. We're, we're hitting, uh, it says mile zero. And this is rails uh, Gainesville trails so let's get going uh, we're gonna hike around this pond right here I want to see what the hike is like and uh, there's a little fountain out there and we'll get a better view of it here soon let's show this this is a pretty cool little kids uh, play area you can see the kids in there having a good time I mean it looks pretty cool so if you got kids you could bring them in here and make a day of it you know and bother your waiting on somebody at the hospital or just a, as a place to visit here in Gainesville. Uh, man, I didn't know that I could have some fun here. All right, let's continue with the hike. So we're gonna head this way in just a minute. And you see you got a nice picnic shelter right here. And always gotta get the bathrooms on the video. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up a ways and hit the bike path and just kind of show you what that looks like. Probably just continuing on by the road. And look here, they got like a lifeguard chair right there. <laughs> don't know what that's all about. I guess uh, you could sit up there and watch your kids. I don't know. So, all right. So I'm going to look around a little more. I'm on Depot Avenue. And the only thing I see is this bike lane right here going by the road, which I don't consider those safe. Uh, you're welcome to ride them. You know, I know a lot of bike riders who just say, you know, you're never, nobody's ever going to hit me, and then uh, I know somebody who got killed that way, so uh, don't tell me that doesn't happen. So you got this island right here. I'd much rather be on a bike trail that's separated from the road. Um, so we're looking back at Depot Park. I'm going to go down here a ways, see if I can pick up a real bike trail. I mean, you could ride the sidewalk over here. That's where I would ride. Um, so anyway, let's, uh, let's keep going a ways, see if I pick up a bike trail. Oh, got cars coming. Okay, I always get the weird stuff on the video. I guess it's just to kind of prevent somebody from falling down there, I, but I thought that was a bike rack. <laughs> you know? And then, because uh, we're why who would be riding their bike to park their bike right there? But anyway, I wanted to show you. Uh, uh, you could you could stay on the sidewalk and be safe. I I don't know how far it goes like this. We're about a half mile from the uh, park, and uh, you know if you didn't want to, because look at look over here, the bike lanes are gone. So you. To be safe, I would just ride down the sidewalk, you know. I don't think anybody's going to say anything to you. But I somehow, I maybe I've missed the bike trail going this direction somehow. Or maybe this is the bike trail, because I think we're still on Depot Avenue. I'm going to round this corner and see if I see anything. If I don't, uh, we'll, kick, we'll pick up the video back at the park. Because uh, i got about a half a mile or a mile to hike back. Just because I, you know wanted to see because boy that would have been really nice if you could have come up this way I mean here you can see looks like it could be well let's let's keep going that could be the beginning of the bike path right there going because it looks like a path I'm, I don't know if it just goes over to that road let's just find out always I keep saying every video the hike you get is not the hike you expect so it does look like it is a bike path now I recall from seeing a sign back there where the bridge goes over 441 that there's another park up here and it looks like if you followed that sidewalk which is where I would ride I wouldn't ride out there by the road even though it says bike lane and then uh, come up onto this I don't know if this is going to keep going past this park but we're going to see what this park is because it's not far from Depot Park I think we're going to make a whole day out of this because uh, I would but I am going to hit another park uh, before we leave Gainesville now whether I'm have the energy to hike around it that remains to be seen I I would say I'm about 80% recovered from whatever it was I had a tick bite uh, disease of some sort or whatever it was I know I from my colonoscopy <laughs> you don't need to hear about that but I have a lot of diverticuli I'm gonna look that up when I get home and uh, you know I said Metamucil but I've been taking Metamucil so I don't understand 
you know, if, if that's the cure, uh, that doesn't seem to do me any good. So maybe there's some changes that I can make in my diet to, to, uh, to make things better. But let's see if this, uh, as it keeps on going, is a bike path. Hopefully it will. But maybe this is just a picnic shelter, who knows. This is absolutely the park that I saw on the sign. Uh, it's called uh, Spring Hill Neighborhood Park. Uh, you can see it's just a couple of picnic shelters, it looks like. Um, and there's the bike path. This is as far as I'm going to go. So it looks like that bike path does keep going. Um, you know, it's be a little teeny little hike, it looks like. I don't know. I'm not going to hike it today. So we're, we'll head on back. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so this is the bike path. I thought, I, you know, at least it was on the sign. Looks like it just comes up to the road and goes that way. Ah, what the hell. Let's walk on up there and see what it looks like. So I just came up a little ways. I thought I'd show you the Spring Hill Park here. Met a wonderful uh, black lady back here. We had a nice discussion. I was trying to get her to do a video, but uh, she's kind of shy. But uh, she, told, she, she blessed me and I blessed her. Uh, wonderful, wonderful person. Um, so anyway, we're, we're coming on around. Uh, you can see this would be kind of a neat little hike. You just kind of hike around the pond. It's got some places to sit, you know, and there's a, at least there's a lot of people enjoying the park. I see some people over here sitting on the picnic tables. So, you know, if you, uh, you know, if you didn't want to get at that depot park with all the, the noise, this seems pretty peaceful right here. Um, so we're going to get back up on the bike trail here. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to show you this. I, I think it's, you know, it's just kind of a, Neat little park, but no bathrooms. <laughs> so this is excellent, man. So we just came from Spring Hill Park, and we're moving on across. So it says Depot, Depot Avenue Rail to Trail Bike Path. You can see, now I'm, I'm absolutely turn, <laughs> turning around right here, but it is kind of winding through Gainesville. Uh, you know, that, that unfortunate trash, trash everywhere. Uh, I am going to make a video about my my uh, my Green New Deal at the hospital and how we need to that how the liberals do more to, to uh, destroy the environment than the conservatives do uh, by far by far. But anyway, so let's uh, let's get because I'm an environmentalist, you know, and there's no excuse for what they're doing at that hospital with the trash. Uh, and the liberals go along with it, and of course they're taking their private jets. You know, Al Gore's going to fly here, and there's private jet and you know, and whatever. Carrie's going there, you know, they all, they, they, they give it lip service, but they don't live the life or care about the environment one iota, in my opinion. All right, so let's get on back to Depot Park and we'll start the video back up there. You know, I thought I'd just get this because there's nothing here that shows the name of the place. Uh, but this would be a good place for a, a young uh, person to, to, to get a, I bet there's just a horde of jobs down there at that UF Health. And uh, even at the, well, at the VA, you know, I know they try to hire veterans. A lot of times they just hire anybody. And, uh, boy, you could, you could, I bet you could live here pretty cheap. I'm not trying to cheap, cheap the place, but these are small rooms. And, uh, and just make money for a while, save up until you can get something better. Anyway, I just thought I'd get that. So let's get this on the video. So I'm kind of, we're back at the Depot Park. Kind of some nice landscaping here. Then you come in and, uh, and you look out at the pond, there's a few birds, we got the birds, and uh, you just kind of look at, at it from this side. Of course, uh, right up here, it's looking back at the picnic shelters. And uh, yes, yes, I did uh, my uh, duty in the, in the bathroom there. <laughs> I didn't, when I say duty, I meant I got in there and of course it was I'm blown up like a pinata after uh, at, at the colonoscopy, so uh, I didn't have to. It kind of smelled like urine in there, so it wasn't the cleanest bathroom in the world. I, but uh, so I'm glad I didn't have to exactly go to the the potty there. Just uh, just relieve the old uh, lizard there. So uh, you can see what the trail's looking like. It's just coming on around. A lot of people uh, jogging this trail, and uh, this 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 probably not very long. I guess we're just going to probably loop back up over here. And that'll be it for the day. Um, we'll get a little bit here on the video so you can enjoy it. Uh, yeah, like I said, I didn't think this would be much of a video, but uh, it actually turned into a longer video than what I had thought. 
but I do love the landscaping with the with the the grassy uh, flowers here and uh, of course it looks like it's lit at night so you could come here at night and uh, jog this trail or hike it looks pretty by the way uh, for a liberal town uh, Gainesville's got the police well I guess that's because uh, DeSantis said they <laughs> the Democrat uh, cities couldn't defund their police so uh, <clears throat> I don't know if there was an effort here to to defund them or not but uh, it is a Democrat city so they probably were working on that but anyway I, I think you're very safe here because man I've seen a lot a lot of police cars driving around so they've got a pretty significant uh, presence in the community which is a good thing but uh, anyway I cut this off see if we get anything different you know that's a pretty cool tree right there and uh, all right so I wanted to kind of get a look back See, a lot of people enjoying the trail. See, there's the museum over there. And it's uh, kind of winding on this way. So it's uh, a short little trail. This looks real pretty. You know, this is what you really have to do in the cities is preserve natural spaces like this, you know, and, and keep, them, keep them for the community to come out and enjoy. I mean, look at the number of people here. I mean, you know, and I hate to say it. I, I mean, I, I, I love having the, the Sunny Hill uh, uh, nature preserve or uh, the restoration area it's getting sunny hill restoration area out of myself but that's you know that's thousands of acres that not many people enjoy whereas in the cities if you set aside and properly plant them you know a lot more people get enjoyment out of something like this and can get out and enjoy nature you can see the trail it's kind of winding around looks like there's another pond over here uh in fact we'll just keep the video on because this is real pretty here. Boy, I tell you, this is a nice look. See how the transition from the grassy area into the water here? Uh, of course, there's the road right over there. So, uh, and it just kind of winds right in between the water here. Very, very nice touch. Very, very nice touch. So, uh, I don't know. I will put at the beginning of this if pets are a lot I don't know if I've seen any pets here uh, I haven't seen anything that forbids pets but you can see you could go this way on around I'm not going to do that because I want to get to that other part but uh, if you wanted to lengthen your hike a little bit you could swing on around go around here come around um, but I'm just going to loop and then of course this joins back in with this trail so it looks like I was just heading back so that's about it for the day here at uh, Depot Park. I'm glad I was able to finish it off with this uh, beautiful view here. Uh, you know, if I just wanted to get a quick hike in, come to a place, this would be uh, excellent. Here's one of the guys on the scooters. You see what I'm talking about? So he's just rolling along. I Like I said, it must be some sort of smartphone app that uh, probably bills your, uh, your account looking back uh well there's a neat little bridge well that's right i crossed that uh, the other day oh, we'll get a, we'll get a we'll get a video there so i can show you what that looks like so here's another weird uh <laughs> thing to get on the video why uh what's the purpose of this uh this railing here i mean you got that right there what are they afraid somebody on the scooters <laughs> <laughs> gonna gonna come flying through here and run into the concrete there I don't know I don't think they do much damage but I have no idea what that's for uh, if you do be sure and leave a comment below so we're gonna finish the uh, video right here so if I'm on the bridge right here you can see it and we're just kind of getting across the uh, the water and I'm not gonna hike up there but uh, there's some more scooters and basically this just goes back to that little pond with it that's concrete that you can just walk around invent possible not sure what that's supposed to mean and uh, so I'm heading on back to the parking lot and that's it for uh, Depot Park place uh, if you're in the hospital you might want to come visit for a day you know read a book whatever hopefully it wouldn't be too bad I thought this is <laughs> maybe Maybe some homeless people sleep in there. I tell you, well, that is it. You know, hey, let's comment on that. You know, because I've been out at 2 in the morning hiking up here. And uh, there are people. There's, there are homeless people here in uh, Gainesville. Uh, it's a dirty little secret. 
And uh, there's actually a tent city uh, I've heard somewhere around uh, just outside the city, but there were people sleeping on benches when I was coming out here. So uh, just like any place else in the United States, we sh it's a problem we need to deal with at some point as a country. Um, so, but anyway, there's the fountain and I uh, hope you enjoyed Depot Park. Okay, so uh, this will finish off the Depot uh, Park video just to give you another place to go. This is the Lachua Trail. It's a three miles round trip. Elevated boardwalk winds around Alachua Sink. Leads to sunny grassy trail through Prairie Basin Marsh to Observation Platform overlooking Alachua Lake. See alligators and abundant wildlife. So, uh, and actually this is part of the Payne's Prairie Preserve State Park. Uh, you will need a state park pass to get in here. Um, if you have a pass like I do, just put it on the dash so that they can see your card. Um, but here's uh, here's where we are. We're at the north entrance, and what you would do is just hike down to this tower, and I guess just hike back, and uh, that's three miles. But the nice thing is, is if that wasn't enough hiking, look at here. You could just take off in this direction, it looks like, or go back up this way. Uh, oh, there, there. It's, that's uh, Sweet Well Sweetwater Preserve. That's, no, that's not where I was. But uh, so yeah, you could get an abundance of hiking here. Um, as you know, we did the, uh, we've done the tower here in previous videos, and then, uh, let's see, I was looking for the Bowling Bluff Trail, but, uh, that might be it right, uh, yeah, that's it right there, never mind, <laughs> that's the one I was, this is the, this is the, the, uh, the pier, and then this is the Bowling Bluff Trail, we did that one, and then we came down here, and we, we did a little bit of this right here, um, so what you can see, we've got a lot left to do. All of this, uh, and look at here, this goes on this way. Uh, I think that might be the bike trail right there, that number nine, I don't know. Uh, so we've still got a lot of hiking to do here in Gainesville. We'll come back another time uh, when I'm in a little bit better shape. Uh, hopefully not just going for a routine checkup at the hospital. Uh, nothing like this. Here's a better look. Hey, I didn't see this over here. This is a better look at the trail. Boy, see, look, you are walking right along the water. That boy, but that's going to be beautiful. Man, I don't know. Maybe I could make a video. I just, nah, man, I'm just, I'm wiped out. I got to get home. All right, guys, that's it for the uh, Depot Park. And uh, we'll come back and tackle this another day.